Just talk about how you ended up getting to the point where you're working with Los Angeles Chamber Orchestra. Well, I got I was very lucky to to get to know uh, Patricia maybe and and she's she proposed to, to my work for this for this series. Musicians like Patricia maybe are exceptional. Uh, of all the musicians there's uh, that 10% of people who are sincerely interested in new works. In mm -hmm. works yeah. And then the other 90% are not so much. Mm -hmm. So you have to find that 10%. <laughs> yeah. You have to, all your life, you have mm -hmm. to find them, find them, you know, mm -hmm. and, 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 and stay advice. in touch with, stay yeah. in touch with them. Mm -hmm. yeah. My piece, Concierto Barroco, is the first piece that I wrote for harpsichord. Mm. And I thought that was, that was, that was quite a challenge. I was mm -hmm. like, wow, writing for harpsichord, hmm, yeah. should I? <laughs> and, you and Corelli. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so I wrote the piece and, and, uh, and also, you know, I finally got to hear the first, uh, the first rehearsal with Patricia Maybe. It was just breathtaking. You know? mm. And so I, so it was, uh, it's a wonderful experience, and, and I think that is a, always a good challenge for us as composers and also for my students. It's like, you know, I'm going to give you something that you, you haven't done, you know. It's mm -hmm. like, I, I think as composers, we naturally want to write the best music that we can possibly mm -hmm. write. Absolutely. That's like a natural. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, and I tell, I tell myself, it's like, okay, all right, so of course write the best stuff, that, but you need to write music that the musicians are going to love. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and I think I think I think you know if you convince uh, uh, the musician of, of your piece, I think he will be your best amb ambassador. He will be mm -hmm. championing you. Mm -hmm. In my lifetime, I've had wonderful responses from ensembles and orchestras, but it's just a select few. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not everybody else. So you you value it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As yeah, composers. as composers, really, there's so many situations where we sit with the audience and we just kind of wave after mm -hmm. our pieces play. But there's not, you know, not a lot of orchestras welcome that, like, come on stage, let's talk about how this happened, you know, be a part of, mm -hmm. you know, the both the creation and the performance mm -hmm. of the thing. And I think mm. that's amazing, like, as a composer, really, I, we value that so much. Like, we, we want to be a part of the act of making music and sharing it and we don't mm -hmm. we don't want to be like the hidden author that just wrote the thing but mm -hmm. and Leiko does that so so well mm. it's very present in our minds no? it's also it's like you know you know who you want to go with when you have something new or you're yes. always thinking of the people that have been with you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have been championing your stuff mm -hmm.